hello xrp community and welcome back to the channel now i have more news concerning ripple and uh actually president joe biden is actually expected to appoint a former ripple advisor as a banking regulator now more on this coming your way hello investors welcome back to the channel now if you're new please do consider subscribing because we'll be bringing you daily xrp news updates and xrp price analysis but uh, not only that, we'll also be bringing you daily uh, uh, crypto news updates and crypto price analysis news that will actually help you in the valuation and analysis of your cryptocurrencies. Now, since that is out of the way, let's get in straight into the news. And today, the Wall Street Journal has actually reported that President Joe Biden is expected to nominate Michael Barr to the role of controller of the currency at the OCC. Of course, one of the main banking regulators is the controller of the currency at the OCC and uh, President Joe Biden is expected to nominate Michael Barr to this position. Of course, he was previously on the advisory board of Ripple and uh, Barr will, repress, uh, will, re will replace acting controller Blake Paulson who actually took over the role last week for, from Brian Brooks. And Brian Brooks is the former chief legal officer at Coinbase, who held the OCC position in an acting capacity for eight months. Of course, Barr is no longer with Ripple, which is currently being sued by the SEC, which actually also asserts that the XRP cryptocurrency is a security and of course the professor uh, is currently the dean of public policy at the university of michigan and of course in the obama administration he was the assistant secretary for financial institutions at the department of treasury so he has held a few uh, very important positions in the administrations of uh, previous governments of course uh, during that time when he was the assistant secretary for financial institutions he was an architect of the Dodd-Frank Act, which actually addressed post-financial crisis regulations. So he has done a few uh, very important things in the financial sector. Now, of course, according to his own bio, one of his focus areas is financial inclusion. And of course, uh, Barr also serves on the FDIC Advisory Committee. And uh, he serves on economic inclusion. And he's also on the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Fintech Advisory Council. And uh, of course, not only that, he has numerous and numerous uh, roles in different other areas. So he's a very uh, prominent guy. He's out there. He's very respectable. And uh, he has been before uh, a part of the Ripple team. Other uh, academics... Michael Barr published papers on the central bank of the future and in the paper it read through part three and of course in that paper the focus was also on financial inclusion and of course the authors believe this can be achieved by expanding law and of course Michael believes that this can be achieved by expanding law or no cost access to payment systems, improving payment speed, prohibiting predatory practices reducing cross-border costs, and enhancing interoperability between systems. And of course, the paper explored low-cost systems in several countries. Uh, he looked at countries from China's WeChat Pay. Uh, oh, he also looked at Alipay and the Digital Yuan. He looked at African uh, low-cost systems like uh, Tanzania's M-Pesa and the Philippines' eGov Pay. So he he actually did a very good research on this paper and of course he says that if he's nominated and confirmed there's a and of course if he's actually nominated and confirmed there's a good chance that our bar's approach to digital currencies will be colored by how it might enhance financial inclusion and uh, he also much like and of course much like one uh, has been seeing greenwashing he's unlikely to fall for inclusion washing himself so yeah that is Michael Barr. He's actually expected to be appointed by President Biden to become the controller of the currency at the OCC. And uh, Michael Barr has previously been on the advisory board 
of the Ripple company. That is what I have for you. Let me know what you think about this story in the comment sections. If you've reached in the comment section, if you've reached this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel and giving us a like because it helps us a lot. And until the next update, thank you very much. Bye bye. Hello guys, and uh, if you've reached this far, thank you, thank you very much for watching our videos. We really appreciate your love and support and we don't take it for granted. Now for more news like this, please do consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the red button uh, just below this video. Also feel free to click the like button because by doing that, it, tells, it helps YouTube to share our video to more people like you who will be interested in watching our videos. Uh, so once again, I would like to thank you very much for showing support to our channel and, um, and, and I would like to promise you that your presence does not go unnoticed. Thank you very much and we are looking forward to having you, to having you in the future through uh, more videos that will be coming your way. So thank you very much. Please stay safe, stay humble, do consider subscribing and clicking the like button and until the next update, uh, bye bye.